my name's Jackie. I'm from Mildura. Um, I'm studying occupational therapy at Deakin, Warren Ponds and Waterfront. To begin with, because I didn't know what course I wanted to get into, in VCE I actually picked really broad subjects, which that actually really helped in the application process because the base requirements was like a 25 in English, which I'd already covered in English and literature. I had been previously working in pharmacy and I really enjoyed it. However, I didn't like blood, didn't like guts or gore or anything like that, but I really liked the medical side of it. Having a look through the course guide, occupational therapy popped up, basically really met my criteria. The ATAR wasn't too bad, so it was 75, which I was going okay towards, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to apply for it anyway. I then received my ATAR score, unfortunately hit drama stations. <laughs> I filled in a, a special consideration application, just basically from being in a rural setting. We just filled out why I should be selected. Basically went on the Deakin website, had a lot of phone calls to Deakin, um, asking it, what would increase my chances of getting in. Got it in and fortunately I made the first round offer. I think the scholarships were easier to find once you're actually in the course. Um, you did have to go through VTAC, but I actually applied for a scholarship back in Mildura. My mum actually found it, so through Mallee Family Care. Uh, it, was, it, it is quite a process, like I did have to get a lot of refer references. This semester they paid a chunk of my rent for me, which was really great. So there are scholarships out there and they are worth taking the time to do. I moved down on my own, so my mum and my dad stayed in Mildura. Um, I came down and I stayed with their family, like some family friends, so they were a really great support, really good financial support as well. It meant I didn't have to pay for living on my own initially. I could wait until I'd found another job down here too, so that really helped. So the rural placement I find I liked because it was a lot more personal with the clients. You're not as chock-a-block as in city placements, you have a lot more time to dedicate to more patients. I think having grown up in a rural community setting has really driven me to want to go back to that. I think people who haven't are a bit scared of it as such and like don't know really what to expect, but um, I really like basically just a sense of community and the sense of knowing everyone. I guess just the community and rural vibe is quite different, I think that's really what I want to get back to. It's not as isolating as you think. I think there's a lot of stigma around working in rural healthcare. It's equally as rewarding as working in the city as well. I'll finish my course in the next two years and basically then I hope to maybe work in Melbourne or somewhere like properly in the city, have that experience for a little while. I'd like to travel and occupational therapy is internationally recognised so I'd like to maybe travel overseas and then I'll probably end up back in Mildura again. Yeah.